Hello there, this is Eta there and welcome to Let's Animate Tutorial. And today we're going to share to you how to paint your background using Krita. And of course our background will be an outdoor scene. So we'll start by drawing the, the sky or we're gonna digital paint the sky. I'm going to use a fill bucket tool, this one. We're gonna fill it with blue. You can choose from your palette or, or create a new one. So I'm going to choose maybe a darker blue, maybe a dark blue. Or fill it with blue on a new layer. That remember you always you always create new layer if you want to. And then we're going to create a gradient, which will be another layer. Just create this button here. So there are other options here where you can create other um, layer options, but you can just click this and it will uh, create a new layer. So as we created the, the new layer, we're gonna use a gradient. So we're gonna choose where our horizon will drop. We're gonna choose a lighter color this time. We're gonna click that or you can go here. So I'm gonna click here somewhere then this is this is our previous color and this is the new color and you click OK then again, once again I'm gonna click and drag shift then you will have um, the gradient now we'll create another layer let's rename the layer first this will be the sky and then this will be our uh, gradient there so we're gonna create new layer you can just press um, uh, insert key on your keyboard if you want a quick way to create so we're gonna rename this uh, um, horizon our horizon will be a, an ocean so let's create an ocean so we're gonna choose a color. I'm gonna click again the, our color here. We're gonna choose different blue. So it's gonna be darker. So it's gonna be. I'm gonna choose this color. So it's gonna be darker blue. There you go. And click OK. Then we're gonna use a marquee tool. Marquee tool. So we have our uh, tools here. So we're gonna choose this tool here the mark tool remember our horizon is somewhere here I didn't sketch I didn't sketch the um, our drawing so this is going to be a freestyle we're going to create the horizon and then we're going to fill it with that blue color and use the bucket tool or sometimes you can use since it's, this is a foreground color we'll just use shift and then backspace shift and backspace there you go okay after we uh, replace that we're gonna use a, another gradient and let's deselect it okay we're gonna use gradient and then the lighter color for uh, the ocean it's gonna be around here on the horizon downwards going to be a lighter color so we're going to use lighter gradient just a slight uh, gradient and we're going to um, enable our transparency protector we're going to enable it it's going to have a lock key where all the transparent will be protected we're going to use the drop eye eyedropper tool we're going to select it and then we're going to make a slight like just a slight color so again shift drag there you go now we have the ocean but right now we're not gonna use the we're, we're not gonna make the ocean uh, for now so we're gonna concentrate on the clouds so we're gonna group these uh, sky and the ocean we're gonna group it just control G or you can you can right click it and then group it 
then quick group or control G. There you go. And then we're gonna lock it just to protect it from uh, painting over. We're gonna create new layer again. So we're gonna name this as um, cloud. So we're gonna concentrate on one cloud and we're gonna use a paint paint brush tool. So the paint paint brush tool is it's just a uh, these are just random brushes that I chose from the to, uh, from the presets if you're gonna take all I'm gonna choose all the, the the brushes here I'm gonna have all the brushes there so I, I tried manipulating other brushes here so I cannot decide which one I like so I, I decided to create my tool here anyways we're gonna use this and we're gonna use a brush. Uh, right now we're still on gradient, so we're gonna choose brush uh, on our on our tool. So we're gonna see if we we can do that. So we're gonna choose a lighter color. You know our our. So we're gonna use a lighter color, not totally white, but you know the clouds are lighter color. So we're gonna use our brush here. Th these are my pre presets. I, I, if you want to change it, just click this button here. Then you'll have your uh, options here where you can change the. You check it, and it will have a re uh, resizing when you have pen pressure on. So you can do that. Right now, uh, I am using my presets, so you can play around with it. So we're we know our clouds are like shaped like this, kind of like round. So we're gonna make that like that. So I'm gonna turn up the opacity. So th this is how I make my clouds. So remember, the clouds doesn't touch our horizon, so it will be up. Uh, down here I think somewhere here so gonna make your clouds very interesting with interesting shape sometimes clouds are random you just draw it like whatever you want so it's gonna be like that so we're gonna, I'm gonna paint this over there you go so the time lasts uh, we're gonna have lots of time lapse. <laughs> Depends on what we're doing. So we're gonna have our uh, clouds not touching the horizon, so it will be a little elevated. Here. There you go. So we're gonna have uh, some other clouds somewhere around here. So your clouds will be random. Just like so. So mine will be like this. So as long as my horizon is aligned with my clouds, it, it will work. I think it will work. So I'll have my clouds like this. All my clouds are going up. So I'm gonna move this. So I'll just use the lasso tool. I'm gonna move this. So it's too close to each other. I'm gonna move it somewhere here. Yeah. So we're gonna choose the brush again, paint brush. We're gonna make more clouds somewhere around. Um, we'll have mechanical kind of clouds, just like Bob Ross saying. So there you go. Anyway. So now that we have our clouds uh, assembled, <laughs> rearranged uh, around our painting, we're gonna choose, we're gonna choose paintbrush. Uh, still, uh, paintbrush tool, and we're gonna choose somewhere here. I have this brush called uh, a mixing. No, no, this is this is a palette knife. Yeah, this is a palette knife. So it's 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 like a smudge tool. Um, our colors because it's blocky. You know, the colors are blocky. 
So we're gonna blend it a little and we're gonna smudge it. It's like finger painting. See, if we're gonna uh, paint over, it will mix up with uh, other uh, with, the, with colors that you apply. So we're gonna smudge it like this. So we're gonna just be careful not to over smudge it like this. <laughs> it will it's 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 effective, but you know. Uh, you can make all sorts of effects on uh, drawing your clouds. So as we do this, we're gonna make uh, another time lapse. All right, now we finish our smudging uh, with our clouds. So we're gonna um, do a uh, clipping mask around our clouds. Clipping mask is a very powerful uh, option here in layers. So we're gonna right click the um, our layer and then go to group and then click clipping group. And we're gonna choose that or Control Shift G. Then it will create a new group where you can see there's another created layer. This is a blank layer, but it's in Clipping Mask. It's already enabled, so we can create now uh, another uh, type of painting. Will be th this works as something like this one, uh, the uh, protected transparency. So anything that we painted beyond the outside painting will be uh, ignored or it's gonna be it's not gonna be visible. So we're gonna choose a different gray something here, a bluish gray. I'm gonna choose uh, maybe we're gonna choose multiply because this is gonna be shading. So um we're gonna make a shadow for the clouds so as you can see we already have the cloud so we're gonna use the same same brush tool but we're gonna use different brush for our painting so we're gonna paint over our clouds you can use different color if you like but i wanted to use blue since we're in the ocean so we're gonna paint over the all of the shadows of the cloud. So we're gonna shape it up like this. I'm gonna use bigger brush. Okay. Now we're painting. And then after this, we're gonna paint the rest of the clouds, and you'll see uh, to to make uh, to make this. Very cool. Okay. It's very simple. You know. And then after we do the shape of the shadows of the clouds, we're gonna use uh, again the palette knife. So the base color will be the base the base of the cloud will be darker. There you go. So, after this, um, we'll make another time lapse. I'll just show you how how this goes. So it's a big advantage if if you have pen tablet for uh, making this painting because if you're just using mouse, it's gonna be very hard. You have lots of adjustments. There you go. That's the shading. So 
we're gonna use um, the palette knife again. I'm gonna zoom in a little. We're gonna smudge everything again, the palette knife. So when you try to create the shading, uh, imagine you have you it's a fluffy cotton ball. So let's imagine it's a cotton ball. So you can make fine adjustment later if you, if you like to. If if your um, if your cloud is a bit odd or something. There you go. So we're gonna have another time lapse here. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to you and then see how it goes. Okay, now we're done with the um, smudging with our smudge tool. <laughs> with our, it's not really a smudge tool. It's it's a palette knife. I was looking for a smudge tool in in the brush brush tool box, but I can't find anything. So the palette knife works. Anyways, now we're done with um, with that, and we're gonna make another uh, layer on top of the mask. Uh, layer this clipping mask we're gonna create a new layer there and we're gonna uh, rename it to as something hmm, bouncing light maybe bouncing light this will be the bouncing color or the bouncing light uh, on the clouds so we're gonna enable the uh, clipping mask again so it's protected so we're gonna use different color. It's gonna be a lighter color this time. Lighter color blue. We're gonna use uh, somewhat here. Hopefully it will work. Uh, we're gonna use the airbrush. If you can find the airbrush, it's somewhere there. You can easily find it anyways. So we're gonna use airbrush. We're gonna turn down the opacity on that. So then we're gonna to the airbrushing. Let's see. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna resize. I'm gonna resize the brush. It's gonna you're gonna use this this slider or you're gonna hold down shift key and then drag it um, I think horizontally to create a bigger brush or a small brush. Okay that's a tip uh, for you guys and then we're gonna brush it Okay, we're, we forgot something. We're gonna change this to screen. Okay, screen. And it's important to use the screen because it's a bouncing light. So we're gonna brush it on below our cloud. And turn up the opacity here to 50. These are bouncing light from the earth, from the ocean. So it's gonna be a lighter color. Uh, it's very subtle, but you'll see. Uh, you can do this if you want to. Just paint it over and create bouncing lights. Very subtle. All right, on the shadows, of course, because 
we we see the clouds are very very uh, reflective. So we're gonna create reflection from their own uh, their own surface. There you go. Uh, we're not gonna paint over uh, all of the painting, but just a subtle subtle painting, just to, just to tell that there are bouncing lights on the earth or from the surface of the earth there you go but we're not yet complete after we um, after we painted our big clouds we'll create another cloud um, these are these clouds are uh, very high up in the sky so we're gonna create on the first group that we made we're gonna create above it so we're gonna press insert this will these are the clouds that will make our scene interesting this will be another cloud so we're gonna rename it clouds 2 so these are the clouds that we're gonna make and we're gonna use the same brush but we're gonna set up the brush tool into um, pressure a resizing brush so whenever we press hard it will be a thickened uh, line but I'm gonna adjust it a little just to uh, say that it's not always sharp when it's lighter um, stroke now we're gonna use the same color as the previous card so we're gonna press again control then we're gonna borrow we're gonna capture the color of the cloud then we're going to apply now our uh, our cloud these are the clouds you see that are very far away so it's gonna be a uh, random lines sometimes they are very long sometimes scattered it's interesting to create it like this because it makes the scene um, natural and not very plain so we're gonna make a scattered clouds a long cloud and sometimes they're like morse code it's like gee, gee, gee. it's like morse code then the effective way to make this uh, looks more cloudy <laughs> cloudy is to use again it's very useful for me uh, use the palette knife to smudge it so the technique here is um, create group of uneven distances distances <laughs> of each of the uh, cloud we make like this one uh, we'll make group like there's another there's a there's a group here and then there's a group here but they're not equal distance to this one it's pretty far so uh, grouping is very uh, effective uh, when you create scattered things in the drawing for example the um, rubbles from from your uh, destroyed buildings or maybe uh, scattered glass or shattered glass yeah so we're gonna finish this and see how things uh, work it is also important if, if you draw behind the clouds that we made you can use airbrush you can use airbrush just to create a, a subtle um, swipe like this and we're gonna smudge it later on we're gonna smudge it so Use again the 
same rush from the previous clouds. Yeah. So after we're done, we're gonna use the uh, palette knife again. We're gonna spread all of the hardness of this these clouds from above. So, so you can smudge it however you want. Like this. Like so. Here, you can do this uh, on every cloud, actually, um, unless you want to. You want your cloud to look hard. So let's make another time lapse for the last time and see the finished product. There you go, and we're done with our clouds. And it's interesting to see now that our cloud is finished. So later on in this video, we're gonna show you how to uh, create an island here in the horizon, and maybe uh, the ocean, of course. <laughs> the ocean, we're gonna show you how to create the effects of the ocean and then uh, some islands and maybe some boats. We'll preview my animations and my uh, sketches and all of the stuff I'm, I'm busy with. So you'll be the first one to know for just one dollar if you registered now. And uh, I hope to see you everybody again. Thank you very much and see you later. Cheers! For as low as one dollar, Become a Patreon to get an exclusive preview of my animations. Visit my Patreon page.